Hello, and today we're going to go in depth, more in depth with lighting, and a bit with terrains. So let's start the tutorial. So last time I showed you the basic lighting to make object light lighted on in your room so you can import model and see them. But they are not really the best lighting you can do. So in this video tutorial I show you how to make a better lighting. So first off I deleted the the point light that we did and I'm going to import a spotlight. So uh, I'm not I'm not going to write the code for each object so yeah this is pretty handy handy. Just Print the code, or drag it into your code editor, and boom, you've made a, a spotlight. If we look, it's not really good because it doesn't like the whole model that we want. Because if you remember, remember from the last video, there was this is the same model. There was something over there. If you can see my mouse or not. So yeah. So how do we change that? First of all, maybe the spotlight is in the model and maybe the model is making it not work properly. So we'll raise it up a bit just to see if it is. This is it. So spot dot set. Now set position. And it takes a vector 3f. What of a what of a vector 3f is three float numbers. One for the x uh, axis, one for the y axis, and y for the z axis. And like I told you in the last previous video, the x axis is horizontal, the y axis is vertical. Oh uh, no, the y axis is up, and the z axis is vertical. So, we want the spotlight to be at the same position as it is right now, but a little more up, so let's pretend we don't know what position the spotlight is, it is at, so we can just get the position of it, and then add a new vector. But, uh, F, but we will give the value of x on y, uh, x on x, no, 0 on x, 10 on y, and 0 on y, and on z. So this should, in theory, and will lift the, uh, the point light, the spotlight, uh, 10, whatever unit it is, up. Maybe centimeters, maybe meters, I don't know. But it will bring it up by 10. Whatever the unit is. So, let's test it out. And it should not resolve the, the thing we have. So the model wasn't interfering with the light. Something else is making it not look, not leak. L not lighting the whole model. So, the, so let's see. we create a spotlight. We set the spot range. We set the position. We set the spot out um, angle and inner angle. So uh, these two things uh, make the light uh, make the light radius. So can scale the radius up for it to let more things up. So this is what we want and this is what we will do. So I'll scale 20 to 50 and 15 to 40. Let's see what it gives us. Ta-da! We can see our whole model now, which is what we want. As you can see, there is some reflections and 
things, but I'm not going to un I'm not going to teach you about materials in this video, but still, it's pretty cool. We, c we can knit up a model in our, our world. That's good and so on, but it's not really what I want. I don't want to test everything again and again just to see if the lighting works. I, I want like a visual editor of it. And hopefully, Timonkey has one. They are called Sins. Uh, Sins, yeah. So if you right click see the Sins folder in Project Asset, you can click New, Empty, TME Free Sin. Or you can go. And if you don't have that, you can go to Orders, Sins, Empty TMS, TME Free Sin. Click on that and just create a new thing. I'm going to call it World. Very creative. Very creative, I know. It's what I do. Okay. So in our world, we can import manually the... F no. Automatically. Automatically the model we created. So to do that, just add... Just right click the model you want to import it and click add in sync composer and tada we can see our model but why we didn't add any light or things it is because I this icon the light bulb icon makes like a light that goes from you and from you to and to the direction you're looking at so you it's lit up where you look at. But we don't want that we, because in game it won't, won't look like this. Because in game it will look like this. Nothing. So to add a light, you right click the new scenes and add light and the light won't. I'm going to go for a spotlight. And we added the spotlight. But the spotlight is not where we want it to be. So you can lift it up. Oh, to be light. Okay, maybe not this. Maybe this. Hmm. Direction ten fifty five hundred maybe. Position ten Okay, so we need to increase this by one thousand eight. Ooh. So yeah. Mm. Thing lifts this up. I want to move this, not this. Okay, so we'll mm -mm. weird. Yeah. Now if we watch, yes, it works. It lights the back of the <coughs> of this, and it's not really what we want. But at least we can see what it does in real time, and not having to recompile the entire game or run it or whatever to see the result. We can see it in real time, and we can just try to move this if I can. I'll just move it manually. Okay. Raise it by five. Okay. Change the color to red. And come on, 
Pokemon. Oh. There we go. I'm dumb. It's because I the spotlight direction was facing up instead of down. So I made it face down and we have a red light which is which is pretty ugly, but it works. So let's change it to hmm. What about blue? Hmm. We see almost nothing. Let's change it. To be light, come back. And yellow. Nice. But I just want it white to, to see uh, the texture nicely. What is this? Do you. No. New value. And is this one? Okay. So I guess this is it. Okay. So yeah. So it works. We have an in game light. Which we can move in real time and not having to to make to change the code every time. Which is nice because I don't want to have to edit the code every time to just move it a bit down or a bit up. But that's nice. And now I want something for the player to be able to work on. Something that I don't know. Something that is big and I don't have to read it in an another uh software, modeling software. So that thing you can create it and it's called terrain. And we you, you can set it set the total size of it but it needs to be a power of two. And less and the path size need to be a power of two and less than the total size. So I don't know. So yeah I just leave it default. And you can and if you want you can choose to make it flap or hilly, I'm going to go for hilly. 10 and 40. 2. Okay, and finish. Wow. wow. Going to light it up to see. Nice. I like it. Really nice. So this is gener generated randomly by Timon Kenyan. You don't have to worry about doing all of this. And I like it. But my my lamp is below it. So I'm just going to drag it down. And see that my light is actually a bit a bit uh, light, lighting this up. Not really much because it has a minimum a max range. Let's increase it. Yeah, as you can see, it did a little change. So let's increase it by. F let's make 5,000. Let's try that. There we go. Nice and needed. So if you want, you can copy it. Spot in an angle is 800. Spot out an angle is 1000. And spot range is 5000. So if you can see, it's pretty much nicely lit. And wow. I don't like this. Anyway. So yeah. This is your terrain visual tuning. You can also edit it like it's almost normal. You can edit the tearing. If you want. Uh, mm. 
you can make you continue to texture of it. Yep, let me let me so if I put the wood texture on it, it looks like ugly wood. Which is not really what I want. This just to showcase that you can that uh, you can put a, the textures that you want on the terrain and it will like and it will look ugly if you put this texture on. So I'm just going to leave the default texture on which looks pretty much nice. Not for huge companies game. Nope. Don't use that if you going to use like a commercial game for like five fifty dollars or something. Don't use that. Okay. <coughs> so today or this twenty or ten minute you've learned how to make a light in with coding and how to edit it a bit and how to make a light in the scene explorer if you didn't know this is a scene explorer you can see it here scene explorer yep you've learned how to do that and you all also learn how to import a model to your scene uh, scene explorer and also how to add a terrain and how to change the texture of it. And in the next episode I'm going to cover a little more about terrain and something else I haven't decided yet. So until next time, bye.